yes, I'm recording, so... Hi, it's Iris Klausson, and do I really have to say that every time I record a video? It's Iris Klausson, and I'm not recording from a fantastic place in Thailand right now, unless you think my cheap-ass <laughs> hotel room is fantastic. I'm lying in bed with my teddy over here, uh, which is helping adjust the white balance with my hair. See if I remove it, it's going to look kind of weird. Yeah, so, I'm sick. Uh, I've been sick for a few days, and uh, it's just gotten worse. I can barely stand on my two feet, and very dizzy, and I don't feel well uh, at all. There are no weights here, so I haven't... There is no uh, weight here, so I can't weigh myself and see if I'm dehydrated or anything. But it might be a combination of different things. And the, the last few dives I had a really bad sinus squeeze um, because I couldn't equalize properly. And it felt like my mind was going to explode. And we went pretty deep. And we went and had a look at some wrecks and did a wreck diving course. And I'm just... I'm, I'm not feeling well. Alright, okay. So, um, stupid question. Uh, <laughs> there's always going to be a stupid question no matter how sick I am. So, of course, there's a stupid question now. And it's stupid question number 99. And it goes as follows. Should developers use refactoring tools? Hmm. When I first started programming, um, I remember that, first of all, our teachers didn't want us to use that in the beginning um, because he had a plan, like how we were going to learn stuff, and he wanted to be able to be the first one to present us with the options and so on, just in the beginning. But after a while, it we could choose for ourselves if we wanted to have them or not. And I chose to use refactoring tools, and some chose not to. And it became like a big <laughs> discussion about it, and we, there would be very strong opinions. Mostly, I felt the strong opinions were from those not using them. Um, they would kind of go like, no, I like to use do it the old-fashioned way, it's just in the way. Uh, I like to think for myself, I don't like it when things think for me, and it removes some of the fun of programming. And if you don't know this stuff, then like you, you shouldn't be a programmer. I was thinking on the other hand, like, any aid I can get, anything that can, like, double check uh, the quality of the code uh, with, of course, my supervision and my mind still working and me still making the final decisions, I think it's pretty good to have. And there are a lot of tools I would be using, not just re refactoring tools with exact that purpose in mind. Although I don't mind programming just in just a plain notepad or something and I could do that if I wanted to uh, but at the same time a lot of I, I would feel like a lot of clients would appreciate uh, if I did something in a way that would help me code a little bit faster and smarter uh, so I can't I can't really give an answer for this I can't really say do this or do that obviously one I I don't feel like I've been programming long enough to actually tell people to do one way or the other and on number two would also be I think it depends a lot of uh, on who you are and how you think and I think this question will be discussed forever but I would really like to hear what some more arguments for and against using refactoring tools because I think it's quite interesting um, some of the arguments people come with and I'm always open to change my mind, although I have to say I'm really, really fond of refactoring tools. I think they they help me out a lot. But I'm going to give you one answer and one advice. And it actually has with the first bit I was talking about scuba diving. Because you might wonder, why, like, why am I talking about scuba diving? Stupid questions about, about programming. The reason I'm talking about that is because when we went down and we went down to, to have a look at the wrecks, we went to three different wrecks and we had an instructor, Spencer, his name is, he's a pretty awesome instructor, the best I've ever had. And although he was giving us a lot of guidance, he was giving us a lot of advice and telling us not exactly what to do, but he was giving suggestions in such a way that they made sense. But at the same time, he did actually rely on us knowing what we were doing, um, that we had the knowledge required to do what we were about to do. But he was still, you know, like, pull my fins here and there, and like, oh, are you 
you sure about this? Are you okay? Can you equalize? And so on. And I did have problems to equalizing. So it was actually really good. He kept reminding me, don't forget to equalize, 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 and slow down, slow down. And, you know, don't forget safety stop. We'll do two more minutes. And we're testing the mask removal thing again. And uh, the like things I, I knew, but some things I just had forgotten. It was really good to get those reminders. But at the same time, I wasn't just following blindly. For example, I wouldn't just... Because I felt like I couldn't breathe on one side of the nose. Um, if it wasn't that I felt like I actually could start breathing, I wouldn't do a mask removal, uh, even though he would suggest I do that. So I ended up doing it because I, I was able to breathe. But... I, I was actually thinking a lot about refactoring tools soon uh, during particularly that dive because it just got, I think with, as with most things in life y you get some help but that doesn't make you helpless that doesn't that doesn't mean you have to stop thinking and you can adjust your refactoring tools quite a bit a lot of people just install it and they just go for it and they don't really look up what it does and how you can use it and there are so many things you can do and so many adjustments you can do there are a lot of settings so i would say if you're against it you should try it and if you really love it and you've been using it a, a lot try sometimes to like maybe on a side project or a hobby project try to go without and see how it feels and analyze like why you're feeling the way you're doing because you shouldn't rely on the refactoring tools a hundred percent it shouldn't be like you can't program without it should be more like it's freaking nice to have it but I can still do without it so that would be my suggestion and I know it's a really long video now and <sighs> I need to sleep and my hair is pink uh, one week of scuba diving will do that to my hair so my pink is not uh, my hair is not red anymore it's pink so yeah, I changed my hair color again. But I, I need to get some sleep because I'm not feeling well. Thank you for listening. I, I hope I made, made any sense today because my mind is... My mind is... Yeah. I'll, I'll have more energy tomorrow. Thank you so much for listening to me and sorry about the long video. So, yeah. Bye-bye.